All right, the map is Greenland Saga, and these are the bonuses, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 2, 7, 3, 2, and we are the red player, first in turn order, 1 out of 5, and where do we want to put our capital at in this Fog of War Blizzard mode? This Blizzard here makes this into a uh, two-point hold for this over here, but uh, if you can hold, I think, here and here, you can block up the entire bonus for yourself, so having a cap here would be really nice, but that five's a problem for us. I could cap here and try to push out. I could cap here, try to go for this plus seven, but it's a one, two, it's a one, two, three, four point hold. I could go for this or this, but I'm not strong over there. I'm going first into an order. Don't love going first here. I liked more time to analyze my first time on it. We go here. All right, so I had to, I had to add quiz quick there. It's my first time playing this map, but let's analyze it a little bit more closely. So we have, looks like this map is one of the smaller ones. It only gets two bonuses. I think the minimum bonuses should be three, not two, but uh, these two are kind of redundant. I guess this one makes one less territory to have to like clear out, but they serve kind of the same purpose of making this a little bit easier to hold, one less point to hold. And mostly this is a lot easier. So I can get this, hold it on two point hold, and eventually I can push forward and like try and control this off cap. Although the black player capping there is a big problem for us. Iceland to be tough for anybody to hold, I think. I'm worried you cap here. Uh, Magenta is over here. There's your capital. What else could I do? Kind of like try and hold this and then look elsewhere. So that's a plus two. This is a plus two bonus. That is a one, two, three point hold. Blue did cap. They're tragic for us. Um, five for us going first here. That's a plus two right here. Four on a two point hold. Okay. Can I just stack these here and take that from you? Probably not. What if we. I need to get a, a territory somewhere, right? We stack these here. We try to get a quick card somewhere. Not with that two. The six, maybe. The two, no. The five, no. The three, not so much. The two, not so much. We try to get a quick card, I think, right here. Good dice. Good dice. That's fantastic. Get our card there. I'm not going to try and grab that right there because I imagine blue just is going to break us. So I think we chill. Not really going to fortify much around here. I'm just going to build up for a little bit and bide my time. Um, maybe I'd try and grab that next turn. I could have tried to grab this turn and see if I got away with it. Maybe I should have tried. I'm, it's my first time playing the map. I'm more interested in kind of learning what the heck's going on over here. Uh, this is a plus three. That is a... Ooh, okay, I see over there. Just getting a quick card. That is a one, two point hold over there. All right. Uh, for plus three. This is naturally without the blizzards would be a one, two, three, four, five point. That's why it's a plus seven. Magenta stacking over there going in. They want to get the troops over there because they want to try and grab that plus two. The blue player has kind of put us in a rough spot here. That's Maybe that was just their best spot to put a capital. I think we wait. We wait for a little bit. I mean, maybe we can, like, when their turn comes around, give them the alliance sign. Chill out, be buddies. I try to hold this bonus here. I let you hold that plus three over there. And then I try to keep one stack alive somewhere. Unoffensive. Maybe in this. Where are you trying to cap? Are you trying to cap this way or this way? Or, to, like, trying to get a bonus this way or this way or neither? That's the question. That's what I'd like to know. Um, I think that two is probably toast. A lot of big fives and fours and sixes everywhere. Seven troops for you for going last in the turn order. Now, what do I want to do here? I was really hoping that you wouldn't cap there and I could hit this and try to grab everything. But I think your plan is to cap here, hopefully pin me, and then you want to probably take away from me. Ooh, look at you have more there than me because you went last in the turn order. Okay. Part of why I never did. I didn't grab that because I don't want you to kind of slap me there. What are your What are your plans here? What are your plans? Let's. Oh, I gotta give you the, like the, Let's be buddies. Let's be buddies. Show them the love. You and I can get along. I know that you capped there hoping that I would be bad and you could just yoink this from me, but that's not going to happen. I will keep that heavily defended against you. I will try and hold that bonus, but if you show that you just want to break from me, maybe I grab that next turn, see if you want to break me or not, you know? Although I do need to keep a stack alive somewhere. I think we just, uh, we do this for now, stack these all right here. We hope to not lose too many off of this right here. We lost one, that's not bad. And, um, we leave three there. We leave three there, that'll be fine. Um, if it's a one, like, almost anybody will slap a one. Now, will you slap a three, you know? I th like, I don't want to put too many there in case they just want to break me just to break me, but I also don't want, I don't want it to be free for them to break, right? I don't want to be a scenario where, like, their easiest way to grab a card is to hit my one right there, you know? I want them to be preferring to hit a, you know, somebody else's one or two or something like that, right? All right, got plus two for us over there if they don't break. Um, what can I try to grab elsewhere for a bonus? Let's see, we're about, you think about pushing me out over there, trying to get a card? Are we all here? Are we all players? That's the question. Seems to be the case. Um, 
I could try and fortify these together at some point. I'm hoping this person will move their four back at some point. I can hit, have this hit here and fortify that up and maybe try to grab uh, Greenland for the plus four. It's a two point hold. Maybe try and. Uh, Villains, like, I know it's got at least 10 in it. So it looks like blue attacked over there for a card because that's smaller now. You are going to slap me out of there to get a card. Okay, that's fine. I'm not sure if blue has this. All right, what, if, what are you guys' bonus rats? Did you attack me? Yeah, you did. Um, five, 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 seven. Okay. Haven't seen anybody start with a, a bonus yet, so it'll be claimed a bonus last turn. Myself included. What do we do here? I did pick them, like, I feel like I got a pretty decent spawn, but blue kept me in. I mean, if I played, if I'm bad, it's good play on their part. If I'm the vengeful type, maybe not so much. I need to keep a lot of troops stacked out here, so I don't end up card, uh, so I don't end up trapped in here. That'd be very bad for me if I'm trapped here and I can't card trade. They did not break me. Fantastic. We're getting along. I am going to, oh, I need a card somewhere. I need to fortify these up together. Do I just slap that and loop, move it over? Um, you know, make sure I have nine there. I think we do. I don't love you being. You're you're showing no no signs you want to get out of my way. I will take this. I'll tag that. Lost four. Tragic. Tragic. I'll move over. Uh, move this over. Come on. Th okay, this. Okay, you got to click not on the number in the middle, but on the boat itself. Good to know. All right. Eight troops for the white player. All right. Your Magento's cap was right here. Uh, black's here, blue's here, I'm here. Um, the white player's cap I don't see. I think we had vision of most of this, right? I think you maybe you're there? Or here? Or in here? I'd love to know. We have made this fairly free for the black player to get the plus seven. Um, oh, we found the white player! Okay, now we know where they're at. We want to leave that area. How many troops did you get in the start of your turn? Eight, so... The white player has this plus three up here, okay? Looks like Magenta's trying to grab this as an additional bonus. They hit my one over there, all right? I'm probably gonna need to rotate this way for card grab. I'm gonna rely on Magenta and Blue to hopefully uh, not let this person hold a plus seven. And I'm gonna move over here, so white player has this. Hopefully we make sure nobody, hopefully the, all this combined make sure nobody gets this. I'm hoping Black and Blue deny each other over here. We need to make sure Magenta so doesn't get crazy over here. I think the card trading area is going to be either in the boats or up in this general reach. I need to be nice and strong over here and keep White's cap trapped there. So we move, we card, we get cards over here, I think. Blue wants to be buddies right now with us. That's fine. I'm not sure they're even going to go for a bonus. You had five troops. So you don't have a bonus yet. Maybe you're taking your time to go for this. I think Magenta, if I'm lucky, Magenta and the black player will get each other's way a lot. All right, they don't hit my seven, please. They might. No, they hit Magenta and lose seven doing it. They are going to war with Magenta. That is fantastic. So they, they probably did that because they want to, they want the boats or they're mad at Magenta, one or the other. Okay, we got a wild card. We got a wild card and that's interesting. Also, first uh, recording of the day, by the way. So I feel like I'm, if it sounds like I'm stopping to pause the, think whatever it's because my brain's not in full gear yet right they're just going crazy up there they're, they want to scout for vision did you just burn through all your troops i feel like no you left you left like 18 here you split yeah like seven back there i feel like your cap is a little on the low side i'd love to just hit here just to see what's there you know i don't love blue stacking everything there but it's honestly the correct thing for them to do wait for me to have less than at some point they don't have to worry about keeping uh, something trapped elsewhere right like a, a mobile stack. They have a mobile stack. All right. Well, let's put three here. So you're not inclined to go for us. These here. We were going to go with the side, but now I need to know what's going on over here. You have seven left there. Okay. I don't want anything to do with that. I'm going to move. Uh, if I, I click not the number, but the boat. Okay. I feel like I should be allowed to click either, but whatever. Now the white player getting their plus eight. How many did I get? Plus seven. Like we got plus seven. Blue's being a good buddy for, to us for now. We appreciate that. They could break my three, but they're not. And, um, Magenta and the Black Player are going to war. You're just getting a quick card down into here. All right. I got this right here. Um, I don't want to, like, block the White Players. So I have to hit my nine for a card, but they've got stuff over here. And they can always go here for a card as well. So hopefully they're disinclined to want to slap my nine for that bonus, right? Plus, I'm effectively blocking that bonus, which is useful. 
five for magenta, they have no bonus. Tells me the black player broke them down here, or they just never haven't bothered claiming this yet. Or no, the black player, I think, broke them this way. Yeah. So the black player is pretty weak. If the card trades were bigger, we could yoink that cap and kind of take them out of this. I don't, I, I don't, I don't love that the wild card is over here. I would rather the wild card be right here. That way I could yoink this. I feel like we've got a decent player here who knows to stack cap and just pin me back here. So I can't do what I want to do, which was to move out to this and have a one point hold on my bonus and be able to work on this. But honestly, they're effectively letting me have a one point hold my bonus by just not breaking me. So it's okay. Not quite what I was hoping for, but still decent. And we can work on, you know, looking elsewhere for things. Trading on three. I think the black player's really mad at Magenta about something. I don't know what. Maybe they went wanted to hold this bonus and Magenta broke them. That would make a lot of sense. They were trying to have this be their bonus. Cap here, stack here. But uh, Magenta broke them on it, right? Maybe. Or maybe they just want the boats and Magenta was in the way. So they break Magenta here and then hit them here to, like, tell them, hey, stay on my boats. I don't see a world where they get to hold the boats. Seems crazy. White can break here. Blue can break here. I mean, Magenta can break here. It's very ambitious trying to hold boats. Maybe they wanted this, but they saw that Blue was there. How many trips did you get? Five. Blue's not trying to hold this. Blue is just stacking cap and card trading. That's all they're doing. Because they're probably fixing to eventually go for me, right? I need to not go too hard out here. Now they're are they trying to claim the bonus now? No, that's just them getting a card, right? Well, they already had that. They're not, they're not, they don't even care about bonus. They're not a bonus caring person. I'm going to put, I, I need to get a card somewhere. Do I want to have a second stack alive? I don't know that I do. I'm going to put two here. Five here. I'm not going to card trade. Let's slap this way. Like so. And uh, we're just going to chill. We're going to vibe. I'm not going to like attack. Blue's one there in case they're using that for card grab, right? Eight for the white player. And we're just going to mind our own business right now. I don't necessarily want to be the one breaking black from their plus seven uh, boat bonus over here because they're clearly a wild card and I don't want that wild card going for me. Although to be fair, they can't actually go for my capital because I'm protected by the blue capital. Ooh, hello, scary. Hi, what's up, buddy? Leave my tent alone, thank you. Yeah, let's let's uh, give you an alliance sign. Let's be buddies. Show them the love, all right? <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm worried that they are... Uh, if they don't fortify that back, I'm scared. I'm worried they're fixing to have this bonus. I'm in their way. Ooh, don't love that per se. Maybe they fortified that way because they wanted to... Like, are they trying to slap my 10 stack next turn? Or are they trying to um, just protect from me hitting them? Like, they want this as their one point hold here. I could just kind of move out of this way and just give them this bonus. I'm worried they're going to, like, card trade and slap me out of there. And then... Like, I'm kind of stuck. Maybe we attack twice and get out of their way. That way they're less inclined to slap me. Because they might, they might be the kind of player who's like, I want this bonus. I will have this bonus. I will slap your 10 out of my way to have it. If they're, if, you know, because, you know, this guy might, this, you saw this guy slap Magenta's 7, right? You know, move myself out of the way. Let them have their bonus. Now they're on a 3-point hold. You know, 1, 2, 3. Let's have a 2. Easier to somebody else to come out and break them. The problem is, I am trapped behind the kind of player who doesn't really want to do anything. I mean, they don't want to break me, that's good, but all they want to do is stack cap and then look for an opportunity to clean up. Which would be fine if they weren't trapping me in, in the process where I'm forced to have, like, I basically have a two-point hold here and here, and I can't afford to lose either. Lose my cap, I'm in a lot of trouble. Lose this, you know, I guess in this as well, and I'll be trapped back here, unable to get cards. And that would be bad for me. I think that is Blue's goal, is to eventually, hopefully, get me card blocked some point and uh, have me be stuck. Or they're just very concerned about me yoinking their capital. Trust me, I'm not going to try and hit a 3-4. I'm not interested in that. Can it bre finally break that 3 of mine? Finally break my 3 of mine? Who are you pointing at? You're doing the pointing at some. You're trying to point at somebody to get out of your way. How many trips did you start with? You started with 5. You're you're clicking on and off somebody's territory. Over here. Ooh, you've broken me. Okay. I don't love that per se. So now Blue's decided I don't get to hold a bonus. All right, fair enough. Um, I'm actually going to force them to attack out into there and to there. Card trade here gives us... I don't want to use the wild. Use the cannons instead. Plus six right there. Uh, second the card trade over there. So we trade early. We are going to put... 
I don't think you're going to hit a 25 stack. You're, you're last in card trade, or you could actually put a lot down there. I'm actually pretty scared about that. I'm going to put most of that down there. So you hopefully won't go for me. I'm not going to bother trying to claim a bonus back. You're just going to break it again, because that's probably where you're going to card trade. I'm going to make sure you are... I'm going to push you out of the rest of the board. Push, um... Yeah, I, yeah let's... I push them out of here. They do push them out of here. I don't think it really matters much. And fortify this over to here. And so the Blues decided I don't get to hold a bonus anymore. That's fine. I think they did that because they wanted a card trade. And they had a thing left over here to card trade. So what I need to do is I need to force them to uh, start attacking out into here to break the black player or into here to fight them. And we just don't get to hold this plus two at this point. We're on like round six of progressive uh, eight troop trade in. The bonus not that big of a deal at this point. At this point, it's about... Um, Forcing the blue player to do anything other than stacking cap um, and avoiding combat around them. Okay, you don't seem to be rushing. You got a 20 stack over there. Are you patient? Okay. What I need to do is just stack my cap, keep something mobile for card trade. Oh, you are rushing to get your bonus. Okay. Are you going to do it all here? Okay, you're splitting. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you want to you wanna hold another bonus. Okay, that's okay. I'm fine with that. I'm not going to agree to hold this bonus anytime soon. You probably fortify for up here. No, you fortify. You were down there somewhere. What's going on there? Plus seven from Magenta. You have a bonus. I'm doing my best here. I'm doing my best here, trying to, you know, come up from a, a, a bad start. I had to pick. I had 50 seconds to evaluate the board to pick a spawn uh, on a map I've never played before. With random blizzards, fog, and whatever. And a little unlucky that blue cap there. Also, really unlucky that blue is just the kind of player who just wants to stack cap and hope to card block me at some point. I'm going to make sure to force the blue player to start it, you know, hitting here to break this and hitting down there. They're probably just going to card trade with black down here if I can imagine. You got, what, seven your turn? I said that already because you have probably this cap and probably this bonus. Plus two is not that big of a deal. Five for you. So this is kind of like a largely a bonusless match for everybody. Um, apart from the white player because they've got this entire quarter to themselves. And I can't do anything to stop them because, like, blue players so actively kind of force me to stack cap really aggressively that I have no choice other than to just defend this and keep, like, a small stack out here for trading, which doesn't really give me a position to do much to interfere with other players. Blue, getting trapped behind somebody who wants to do nothing but stack cap is very, very limiting. Ooh, and they lost! Oh, <laughs> they lost 47. I only lost 25. They're gonna bot out. Oh, I, I, I think um, the the blue player. I think is either. I'm not sure if they're mad at me there. More likely, they're just taking a risk. They're taking a risk that they could get that. The the black player probably saw that. But I go before the yeah the blue player is like hooray. <laughs> the black player saw that. That's great. I go. I need a card trade here. And I have one. Fantastic. We card trade, slap it all right there. Attack, attack, defend there. And hopefully the, the black player doesn't card trade in three and take it back from me before I can get some more going. And now we're back in business. And we might be able to eliminate the blue clip player for two cards. Um, depending on how much they have. They bought out. It's my turn. Now, the black player might be able to clean us up here. It could be a problem. The blue player has been trying to take me out the entire match. You capped on me, buddy. Not the other way around. We stack them all right here. We do a little bit of this. I can actually kill guard them back here, but I don't want them to stick around or anything like that. One of these. There we go. Get them out of here. Get out of here. Give me your cards. There we go. 25 protecting me. There we go. Finally. Finally. We got it done. Oh, man. Just got lucky. Got some good dice there. I wonder what their odds were of succeeding there. That's huge for us, though, because now I have my what I wanted all on. Ooh, you're scary up there. But now I have my um, uh, one point hold on this and it's a so i've got a one point hold on an extra plus four effectively which is great now if i can survive a turn or two and stack my cap a little bit more i'm in a stronger position and in spite of the blue player basically playing the entire match to screw me over we're okay luckily i've got enough troops there to protect against that 25. <laughs> um that's fine for us oh they're leaving that maybe eventually i could claim that bonus i'm not gonna work too hard for it um but i can card trade over here if i want to I think I'm going to chill out for a little bit. How many did you start with Magenta? Seven. So white players in the strongest because they've been mostly unopposed. I'm going to be the lowest on troops right now because I've only got 38. we got some clawing back to do for a little bit. I guess Magenta and... So these two hit each other a little bit early. 
You're far in the lead. These two, not so crazy far ahead, because they fought each other a little bit. You slammed me, like basically you slammed me and I lost 25. That's not insane. You slamming me and losing 25 is not that crazy to come back from, especially considering I got two cards from you. So, I mean, I think that, I think we're not too crazy far behind. I think we can come back from this. And what we can do is, um, I can attack here, here, just to see what you have and fortify back. Although maybe I don't want to. What if you've got like 50 sitting there and then hitting here, here, freeze your cap to come bam, bam, and take mine, you know? You know, I could attack right here for vision. I think it'd probably be fine. Nine troops for us. Do I care about this right now? This 10? We're no longer card blocked, so I don't need to stack over there. I need to protect my capital. We're no longer, uh, like, trapped behind the blue player. We've gotten sweet, sweet vengeance to them because they didn't get insane dice or anything. And that'll be fine. Get a card here. We need to take a few turns of just kind of, like, recovering a little bit. Because I expect the white player's got a lot. How many? You're getting 13. I'm getting nine. I'm only getting four less per turn than you. I think I'm getting one of the higher bonuses. We do need to deal with the white player. Otherwise, this will be me getting maybe second or something, and that'll be a, you know, I mean, I guess I could, could toss in the side channel, maybe a good side channel video, or maybe we put this as the inaugural video on the third channel I'm thinking of doing, um, rebranding, you know, the rebranding the CG still plays into CG loses, and where I might put losses on there. Because there's some matches where, like, it's a good match, but I don't want to have, like, a bunch of losses on the main or side channel because they're meant to be satisfying channels, which, you know, basically wins are satisfying, losses are not, right? We'll see. So, still toying with that idea. Anyways, back to talking about the game. And what are we, what are we, what are we thinking here? I'm thinking after the next card trade, but then my capital should be safe from the black player yoinking it. I, I think 33 is probably safe right now, and after I get my next 9 troop stack on there, probably even probably safe. But I don't want to free the black cap to come this way just yet. Like, I'd like to know what they have, but odds are it's probably pretty, um, probably pretty well defended, I'd imagine. Yeah, especially after a card trade of 4 for 20 extra troops. I don't want to mess with it. I do not want to mess with, uh, well, I'm assuming it's going to be a lot of caps. And you're only getting 5 a turn, so you're not going for this bonus. You gave up on holding this. You haven't bothered for this. Which tells me either your kind of person doesn't really care about caps anymore, or is you gave up. Um, here's the thing. I, do I slap this three? I don't want to slap a three. If, I mean, I'm actually more scared of the white player having a big stack here coming towards me than I am the black player, so maybe we do. Actually, let's get a card up here. Let's get a card up here. Attack this one. That's fine. We stack these here. I, I, do I card trade early? I don't think I do. I think I'm safe. I attack here um, to get a, a card, and then call that good, and that'll be fine. We can card trade up here for a bit. I don't want to stack too many troops up here, because eventually somebody might want to slap them out of there. Big old card trade from you. Glad I didn't clear that, because now you can't stack in your cap. Come through and get me. That's fine. I'm almost kind of like last in the turn order now, which is kind of nice. Um, I would love to see what you guys have troop-wise, but after you slamming me for 25, and... Oh boy, you're going to push me out of there. See, that's why I'm glad I didn't stack more out there. If I had stacked more out there, yeah, you're pushing me out of there. You're getting greedy for another bonus. That is a one, two three, four point hold. The problem the white player is doing is they're spreading out a lot. And they're weakening themselves up for extra bonuses. Ten for Magenta means you've claimed another plus three, which means you've claimed the North Stone. So Magenta now has a uh, one, two, three point hold and a troop trade-in of 30. Okay. Means I'll get 35. Once I have that, we'll be back into it. I can even look into breaking the white player. I'm not sure if I should, though. I mean... We don't want the white player being crazy strong, but I also don't want the white player getting mad and self-destructing on me. What I want is to strengthen my position. I, I think right now we need to, we need vision on the board. I need to, you know, stack fourth unoffensively here for a card to see what you have, you know? And uh, just get an eyeball on what you have and then fortify away and see if you let me hold this extra plus three for free. You know, maybe that's fine. If you got an extra plus four over there and I grab an extra plus three over here, it's not so bad keep up with the white player. You started with five. Okay. Questions. Are you just stacking cap and card trading? You might be. Nine for us. Card trading five. It's forced. Let's do that plus 37 total. Love that. We stack. Uh, we want three right here for card trade. No, I mean stack three. And we put these right here. We'll tag right here for a lovely little card. Oh my goodness. Hello. Please win this. Got the dice. Got the dice. If I had known you'd done that, I could have eliminated you, but 
Luckily, we managed to spot that in time and grab that. That is fantastic for us. Very, very lucky. I probably just fed the Elimination of Black to somebody else, but I didn't... If I had known they were off cap and they just got done self-destructing, I would have just, um... I guess I could have got... I, sh I should have looked for that vision on them sooner, huh? Instead of being afraid of them, I should be scouting it. Now I've got a two-point hold on my, um... Plus five, plus extra capital. Two extra capitals, so I've got actually... Three, five, two extra capitals. I get an extra plus nine, plus my troops, so I'm getting 12 a turn. You're getting 18 a turn, so you're still getting six a turn more than I am. That's a big card trade. Um, you can't break my capitals with it, but you are a big threat. You've got no cards right now. You card traded on three early. I could card trade for 45 and kind of catch up. Um, somebody else will get the elimination on black for their cards, because, I don't know, I guess I should have stacked some more here just in case, you know. Looking back, why not just, you know, you never know, their cap might be empty, stack a bunch there and take a look. You're pointing at me, probably didn't mean to, probably looking over there, you're probably clicking on this. I think you're the, you're clicking this and clicking that, yeah, yeah, you're looking to go that way. Alright, that's great for us. Plus eight for magenta means that the white player broke magenta, no, the black player probably broke magenta. And you come back and get the elimination on them this turn. And then the two of us need to work together against the white player, I imagine. The nice thing about my position is I'm kind of unbreakable. Um, without, you know, throwing the game. If I'm lucky, Magenta... Magenta doesn't know that I just took the black capital. Maybe they get distracted by the white player being strong and feed me... No, no, they get the, they get the kill. Wait. It insta-traded Are you a bot? You're a bot! You're a bot! You insta-traded in. Alright, how long have you been a bot? I wish I'd known that sooner. So it's myself and the white player and a bot. And the bot stacking against my capital down there, which is not super great for me. Um, I need to somehow get the bot to deal with you. I could move off with the bot have that cap. White would take it first, actually. Um, do I card trade? No, I wait for the bot to card trade. We stack here for vision. And we try and break the white player. The bot, I don't know the bot stacking my cap. Um, do I hit, I don't think we bother with that. We hit this. Okay, you're pretty well defended over here. I'm actually going to trap myself in my cap here a little bit. So you're really healthy on troops. You probably got nothing in your capital. Here's a problem. I don't know how to get this bot to help me beat you, because the bots love to stack against capital, so this bot's just going to keep stacking here more and more and more. What I could do... I mean, here's... Oh, the, I should have moved off it onto my capital. You come in and take it. And then you're dealing with the bot stacking on your capital. That's what I should have done. Because right now, what's most likely going to happen is the bot is going to card trade in four and slap my capital. And GG, I've lost. And this will be a video on the... the maybe probably the inaugural video on the, the CG Loses channel. Yep, there it is. Oh no, 76 versus 43. GG's. Unless bots don't take 76 versus 43. They do. They definitely do. All right, so now we know for the future. Uh, get out of there. Oh, that's going to hurt so bad. We can still maybe come back from this. Um, if we're lucky. No, nope, here it goes. 80 versus 43. And there it is. All right. All right. All right. I could have saved 40 troops there. We're still not dead, but the white player's massively in the lead. I needed Magenta to not bot out, and I needed to pay attention to the fact that, oh, the bot's going to card trade and hit me. I've realized it a little too late. So what we do now is we card trade in four for uh, this many for safety against you. Um... And actually stack these here. Come on, I got it. The, the map doesn't let you click on the boat so well. And we start hitting you off capital and we defend on our capital. Um I hit these just like waste more of your time. Get more vision. There we go. Right, you got 55 on your capital, good to know. So you're really strong. You're really strong. The bot will tack down here. I'll be able to card trade the bot without a problem. If I'm lucky, white player doesn't realize. If I'm lucky, the white player's a beginner who just got away with murder this whole match. Um, and just got lucky with nobody fighting them. While blue blocked me in and these two infots, and then I gotta deal with the bot. I need to keep dealing with you. And make it so the bot wants to go for you, if at all possible. And keep hitting you off cap as much as I can. And breaking your bones. Where do you start with that time? You started with nine troops total. That means the bot has infiltrated over here. And you got, you held this, no, you had five plus four. You you defended this, and you defended this, Um, is what happened. I need to weaken you up, but also, like, keep an eye on the bot getting too strong. Honestly, if we uh, manage to take out the white player, and then, like, I get second and the bot wins, I'm calling that an overall win, I think. Although I could have, if I, if I just moved away from this, I could save 40 troops, bot takes this. 
And then, you know, or you take it and then, oops, there's a bot, you know, bot goes for you because save more troops. Everywhere. I think we're still in this. I've still got a one point hold with a capital on my bonus. Whereas you, I can keep breaking it over and over again. Come here, break this, come here, maybe break this. Look for what's weaker, right? Nine troops for us. Of course, the bot stacking my capital again. I need to get you near their capital. That's what I need to do. I need this bot stacking near their capital. Would be nice. Would be the goal. Yeah, 90 there. Okay, there's a 17 for the magenta in my way, so we don't actually want to bother with that. And let's actually fortify this back over to here. All right, so you fortified off cap there. You got everything right there. I need to work this oh, 60 troop trade. A trade on three is a bit rough here. You could stack it on there. Oh, all of that right there with good dice takes me out this turn and I get third place. And this becomes the inaugural video on the CG Loose channel, probably. Or toss on the side channel to mix up. I don't know. Still figuring out how I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm, why not put everything on one channel? It's just the algorithm reason. You get, I get more views overall if I split it up amongst multiple channels and not do it daily, right? Weird but dumb. Bot strong. How many troops did you have? 65 troop trade and it went right there. Fantastic. Attack up. You won't, but I want you to. Okay, stacking a lot up there. You have 17 troops. The bot's doing really strong. Here's... The, okay, that's a lot of troops right there. Um, but the nice thing about this is the bot's doing really, really well here. If I have to card skip, then so be it. Um, I just need to keep myself nice and strong at one point and hope the bot breaks you or something. I'm going to get card blocked by these big stats from the bot, though. Um... I, I, I just, I just, I can card trade any time. I think right now we just card skip because I don't want to hit. It's not worth it. I need a card, but I had to hit a 45 stack to get it. Not worth. I'll take my time here. Make them think that I'm attacking when I'm actually not. Maybe even like, you know, take this and point at this to make them think that I'm attacking if they're paying attention to the dice. Spoilers. I'm not. I'm going to stack right here. You're getting plus 12, which means you're still holding this and this. I'm going to keep stacking here, and hopefully, eventually, the bot breaks you or breaks this. And then once I see that you're lower on bonuses, I can try and worm my way out there or something. I think we're both in a rough situation against the bot. The nice thing about my position is I got everything on a capital. Your, your capital, your, to defend your bonus, plus 24. That's great. That's fantastic. That's what I need. The bot's nice and strong. How much did you start with? You started at 12. I need the bot to, yep, stack there. You're going to hit, yeah. Keep stacking there to hit there. I might need to card trade before. When, the, when I see the bot that's going to card trade after my turn, then we will f card trade to protect ourselves for safety. The bot is not going to card trade right now on their turn, so they have one. So I'm just going to stack here. I'm not going to card trade. In case I can get somebody else to card trade first, I get more. And then we just chill. I did it too fast. Now they know I'm, car they're, I'm just not card trading. Um, you're at two. Are you attacking the bot? I don't know. I need to wait and see. The bots kind of block me in. I'm not going to attack a 48 for card. That's not worth it. I want to see this bot eventually stack so much up on this one that it want, that it, it'll be inclined to hit your 90 or whatever you have over here. Or stacks over here to hit this. P push through you. You know, maybe we eventually lose the bot but taking you out to our win condition. Or maybe the bot spends so many troops on you that I can, like, recover. Pivot to another capital. Um, the black capital's here. We could eventually try and grab If I see this slam here, I could then try and like grab that. Uh, how did you get 12? The bot still has not broken you. I need this bot to eventually break you. Unless the bot's... Well, you got a card. That means you attacked the bot. You got a card last turn. Which means the bot will get a card. Bing! Oh, there we go, baby! <laughs> Minus 77. So that means you just hit them really, really hard. It means we card trade here. Um, for safety, and there's a clean path towards me now. You had the bot just lost a lot of troops against that, which means that you probably lost a lot of troops. Yep, that's fine. We're going to come over here, do some damage. Oh, what's this? An undefended capital. Can I limit you this turn? Depends what you have. Um, you know, I bet I can eliminate you. I bet you don't have a lot. But I can eliminate you for your cards, right? Come on, faster. You are stronger than I was hoping for. Can we take you out? There it is! There we go! There we go! Ho oh, ho ho! Side channel video after all, maybe. <laughs> Let's go! All right. Now we need to keep moving. Um, keep attacking. Come on, keep attacking. Keep attacking to weaken you up. Even this capital. Break some of your bonuses. If I was faster, I could probably take you out this turn, right? 
Oh, we got the, oh, we got all the capitals. There we go. Let's go, boys. Let's go. There it is. You love to see it. I thought I was going to lose that one. Now I have plenty more videos you can watch too. See you next time. Unless you want to see the ranks. That was so exciting. You're a novice. You're a beginner. Black was an expert. You're a novice. Oh, what a match. What a match. <laughs> there it is. See you next time.